So Chris, tell us a little bit about the development of these new features that we're announcing today. Right. It's a long process. Um, you know, honestly, enhanced keyframing probably started two years ago and started as something very different than what you see today. And we very carefully go through new iteration after iteration when we find something doesn't quite work. And sometimes it means scrapping the whole idea and saying, now this just isn't the right direction we want to go, so let's try something new. And we did that probably four times with enhanced keyframing to get to a point where we all said, hey, wait, this feels good now, this feels right. And people are incredibly excited about that. And they're quite amazed really how good of a job we've done at creating a new kind of user interface for doing animation and doing keyframing that isn't like any, what anybody else, else has done before, but gives you that nice sweet spot of both power and control, but ease of use that you know, other apps don't have. Speed ramping is one that our customers have been asking for for a long time, and you'll see those videos every day when a shot comes speeding into a car and then slows down to give you that real beautiful shot of it and then speeds back up again. It's those easy kind of shots you can do where you're rotating around, you've taken some drone footage and you want to stop at a moment to, to take a look at something before you move on. Um, and we've made it easier to do freeze framing within you know, the speed editor so you, you can just completely stop on something and then start up again. And with enhanced keyframing, it gives you real creativity to be able to animate things in a smoother, more real feel than they were before. Our linear you know, animation before forced our users to have to create more keyframes to get a more natural feel, and now you can get that natural feel. And the nice thing too is we have really nice presets in the app that even if you don't want to do the keyframing yourself, just select a good preset that's been designed, and then you can tweak it a little bit to get exactly what you want. So it's just quick and easy. Any yep. user can use it. You don't have to be a film buff already to kind of get stuck in. Right, absolutely not. We've made it as easy as possible um, to get some really good results out of there to get exactly the motion and, and, and animation that you want in the app. And let's just talk about grids and guides available because I know it doesn't sound as sexy as yeah. enhanced keyframing and <laughs> right. speed ramping, but it is something that's going to be really useful to the everyday creator. Yeah, absolutely. Well, one of the things is that's a free feature that comes as part of the free update, so a lot of people will be happy by that. But it's a really important feature because it allows you, first of all, to turn on grids for safe areas so that you can make sure your titles are always on screen and the action is always on screen. Um, it allows you to turn on grids so that you can properly position your objects exactly where you want them so they're framed well, you know, if they weren't framed well in the camera initially. And then it's got a new horizon guide that you can move up or down so you can send it exactly to keep shots consistent, for example, when you're bringing in new shots and, and position them exactly. So it really complements the keyframing and, and the fit and frame tool to get things exactly the way you want them. I really think the animation is going to be, is going to open up whole new, complete new worlds for a lot of our customers. From a user who's just getting started and wants to get a nice ease in on a motion that they're doing, to our advanced users who are doing really complex motions in Lima Fusion, and they've had to work hard at it before, and we're making it really a hundred times easier now to do that. We will always listen to our customers and, and try to make the app the best it can for everybody that's using it.